Well, I've been a farm wife for 51 years, and um, there's just so many numerous things to mention. Um, I guess maybe one of the best things is that it's been a wonderful way to raise our children, uh, independent lifestyle, and uh, and maybe even my husband and I have uh, gotten closer and closer over the years because we work together in a joint venture on trying to make the farm successful. I think just being able to see my husband love doing what he enjoys most and being able to raise our kids up to know that they can grow up and do that and just seeing my oldest son, he really enjoys it. And if he wasn't a farmer, he couldn't experience day-to-day -day work with him and getting to grow up doing what his dad loves. Being able to be flexible, to be, have the kids at your job every day and your wife, I can always go out and ride or I can go help move stuff. And, and it really involves the entire family farming. I could think of several, but being in the season that we're in, watching, the guys go out and work so hard to put time into planting a crop and then they water it, spray it, just watch it grow and then you see the clouds build up in the sky and you just pray that it won't be anything but rain and you get a hailstorm. That's really extremely difficult because you can see the disappointment in their face when they go and survey a hailstorm is just never any fun. Well, if we're going to go back that far, it would be before sprinklers. And uh, we had row irrigation, and Pat and I would lift the pipe onto a trailer, and then I would drive the pickup, and Pat would drop the um, gates, the pipe with the gates in it, and you'd have it on a row and the rows would water and then he'd water every so many rows and he'd keep track of that morning and night and so you never really left the farm because he had to do that chore twice a day so yeah and now when we were first married it would water all night long if the sprinkler got stuck <laughs> it would water in the same spot all night yeah. long and now it wakes you up instead. <laughs> it will send you a text message. <laughs> well, if you want to start with me, Harvest Mills, when I first married Pat, we were farming with his father and mother, and uh, Mrs. Weinheimer would actually take dishes to the field. Uh, she'd have her tea and glass uh, ball jars and coffee for Mr. Weinheimer because he, the coffee kept him going, I guess, the caffeine. And so she'd actually make a huge lunch. She would, uh, she loved to cook and she loved to bake and she was very good at it. And so I kind of picked that up from her and I continued that on. But I must say when paper goods came in, I was, I was thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> thrilled to death. Then Samantha came into our family and she certainly added a lot. Uh, one of the things as far as meals go, uh, she said, why not do lunch and then take supper out earlier so that they can see their children and they can visit a little bit, get another little break in their day. And in the past couple of years, our guys have just decided to take sandwiches at lunch because like Kelly said, they really don't want to stop probably twice a day. So then if you do it at night, they do get to see their kids, so they'll just take a sandwich and eat in their cabs, and then we get to come out at supper. It does seem like they will stop longer and have supper, but they do just stop once into this life. Visit with the kids and they're out their day. It seems like a really Yeah, really well. Yeah. I have a picture of my husband on a, a, cum, a cumbun when he was uh, in high school. Of course, there wasn't a cab. But every summer, his dad was kind enough to get them a big old straw hat oh, yeah. so that they could the sun up their face. I think it's a requirement for a farm wife to have to have that, to be that support and to be that part and that uh, companion because uh, if, if they're not, then that dis dissatisfaction breeds itself and uh, they don't have the opportunity to grow, to grow together, uh, to grow as a family. Uh, it's, a, it's just a very uh, unique style of life, but you have to like it 
and you, you have to be willing to maybe sacrifice a lot of different things that you see other people doing. The other thing I want to mention is that none of us are, have grown up on the farm. No. We all chose that life as, after we got married. And, uh, and certainly any one of us could have chosen to do something else in addition to that. But uh, it seemed like it was the life that we wanted yes. to have. So they had no fear, these girls, and still <laughs> don't, even with the prices, what they are today, and uh, and chance of storms and everything else. They, they're not fearful. Have no fear. Have no hey, fear. Isn't that what the Lord tells us? There we go.